Hello, Sydney's. Today we're gonna take a look at new feature of new screen movie. Let's find those Easter eggs. Let's start with the most important one. Sydney has a baby. And once again, I'm wondering, who is that baby's father? Who did Sydney had sex with? Moving on, we have Melissa Romero getting called by Ghostface, which is more or less everything we already saw in the original trailer. But then we have a shot of Ghostface standing up. I'm not sure what is this next to him, but looks like a body. Why did he fall? What the fuck is going on? Then we have a shot of Woodsboro Sheriff Department car. But as we see, this is old vehicle, like we saw in the first images released of New Scream. So this can be either a flashback, or do he has some sentimental values now that he quit being a sheriff. Then we have Melissa Barrera in Stu's house, getting a call from Ghostface. But more important, we have two pair of glasses here, meaning that there was a part in that house. Sex and drugs. Anyway, she is now the main target, so that makes me feel kinda gay, because when Sydney is not the main target, we saw what happened, like, in the series. But now I'm not having many high hopes, like I had before, because I don't know. Anyway, Scream 4. Scream 4 was the one I liked the least. Anyway, we have a new poster. This is poster in Birmingham, UK. We got We Are Filter on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. We got Talk to Speech on TikTok. And we even got custom emoji on Twitter. And then we have a shot in a street, which is called Elm Street. Elm Street, ladies and gentlemen, from Nightmare on Elm Street, which was directed by Wes Scream also. And she also got a call from Ghostfish later in the hospital. And apparently a lot of things are happening in hospital. Because we saw in the trailer, do we fight Ghostfish in the hospital? Maybe they tried to make a relation to Scream 4, like fi finale in the hospital. By the way, she got called from Amber, like Jenna Ortega did in trailer. But then it would be pretty obvious who is the killer, but don't tell me this is not a killer. Look at that face, man. Killer vibes. Then there's a scene when she goes to do it to ask for help. And then we see him open his legacy box where he kept his badge and a gun and some paper which I cannot really read what it says, some number. Anyway, I was right, he's not drunk. Another important thing that was here is this shot of Jasmine Severin Brown, who is Randy's nephew. And you can see she's wearing the same clothes as him in Scream 1. Now things are becoming too much similar to Scream 1. And we have another familiar shot of new cast around the same font as our original cast in Scream 1. So that would be it, ladies and gentlemen, for this video. I'm gonna see you soon. And there's a ton of promotions for this movie. I don't know if any screen movie was this promoted. As always, you can support the channel by becoming a member and getting some benefits or by buying my sexy ass shirt.